Welcome to another live session of Stupid Media. Uh, we want to look at Office 365 today again and compare it to G Suite wherever suitable. Um, as explained lengthly before, I'm not very familiar with Office 365, so you should expect me to be illiterate with what I'm doing. But I do hope that uh, we'll nevertheless be able to um, uh, find out some stuff about how portaloffice.com, Office 365 from Microsoft will differ to G Suite from Google. I do have a user here. Let me pick up my password real quick so that we can log in. Um, Okay, that's working. And it's English again. Oh, I can update that. Easy. Okay. <clears throat> We've been looking at uh, Teams last time and found out that Microsoft Teams, the Mac app, is a big drain to your battery. Um, and now I'm wondering where we want to move on. So. One of the big strengths that I see for Microsoft is Excel. That's what I hear a lot. Um, Outlook compared to uh, Google has the disadvantage that especially young people, they're very accustomed to Gmail today. So Outlook and Gmail is part of G Suite. So um, then OneDrive and Google Drive are also similar. I don't know OneDrive, so I, I would want to check that out. Um, Word and Google Docs, I have no idea. This is also interesting. Excel is something that I hear in those big companies a lot, um, that they say a lot of our peoples have visual basic scripts or some adjustments where they intensively use customizations or automations in Excel. And they fear that when they switch to Google, that they may lose those. Um, it's unclear in almost all cases how many people these are. And something that I hear from other Google partners a lot is that you can still have people keep their Microsoft Excel if they should actually experience that those files don't work properly on Google. But actually, I didn't see that yet. Uh, never ever has any of our customers or customers that um, I'm talking to Google partners to come up with a Excel spreadsheet that couldn't be uh, run in the Google environment. Nevertheless, looking at Excel is something that I uh, would like. PowerPoint could be more advanced. So those three will most likely be um, my next topics. And um, I'll start with Excel. This looks very similar to what I um, know from the Google world. Let's uh, go to Google Drive. And then if, if you open any spreadsheet, like this, there is a link where you can go to an overview of all your spreadsheets. And this is actually pretty similar, right? So these are the, the things that I've created. And OK, obviously, I can't have anything here because I didn't create anything. But um, and then there's new templates. And this is the same here. Invoice, weekly timesheet, expense report, Gantt chart, to-do list. There's no monthly budget. Let's open this one. <clears throat> so that's obviously a template. Oh, here we go again. 
that's happening often with uh, Microsoft that I have to re-log in. I, I assume that they have like a separation of services. So Excel Online is something else than, what is this, office.com. So I have to log in again. It's a small inconvenience in my opinion, absolutely bearable, but it doesn't happen that way with Google. It's just seamless. Okay, that's quite some loading time. I'm also wondering if, um, to what extent Microsoft is optimizing those things for Mac users with Google Chrome. At least they have to have decided to ditch Edge and use the Chromium engine in the future. So Chrome is probably something that they are well aware of. And here we are again. That's why I'm recording these videos because um, like the, the fundamental things that I, um, uh, I, don't, I don't hope for that, but uh, that I'm expecting is that <laughs> there will be usability problems. Like you buy Microsoft Office 365 and someone else has to use it. And what is this? Like, does it want me to reload the page or what's the problem? I just want to have this Excel spreadsheet opened. Okay, try to reload. It's still loading. Like, can this be? Can it be that like, I talk a little, I click the first thing and it doesn't load. It's something that it's in the last video, we had duplications like the same entry streams and video, and they had the very same description for um, a complete list of all services. And I'm thinking like, why on earth doesn't Microsoft make this not redundant? And this is a very similar situation where I think like, how can it be that I'm opening a spreadsheet and it simply doesn't load? Maybe it's too complex. I'm going to choose something else. Excel online. No, that doesn't work either. Book. Take a tour. Ah, that's working. The other two are not working. Okay, that's an Excel spreadsheet that should help me to, to get going. Okay, sometimes it's obviously working. Let's, let's start a, an empty one. Oh, that's working as well. So like the first doesn't work. The second doesn't work. The third doesn't work. And the fourth isn't working either. Just let's just compare it to, and again, this is not staged. This was my first time to look at Microsoft Excel online. So nothing is staged. I'm just stumbling upon all these errors. Let's give Google a try. Give me this invoice. <clears throat> okay, here's the invoice. Give me the weekly timesheet. Yeah, it's a timesheet. Give me the expense report. There's the expense report. It just works. But I don't know, this is not magic, right? It should be, it should be simply working. Why isn't that working here? 
Is that again a browser problem? As Google Chrome is so not Microsoft that they can't support it. Okay, so portal office.com. Here we go. Email. Oh, it's asking for the password. Sorry. Okay, trying in Firefox. I'm trying in Firefox because last time in the video, only Firefox would work for switching the language here. So um, this would only be available in Firefox. It wouldn't work in Chrome. It wouldn't work in Safari on my Mac. So that's why I'm going to Firefox straight now. And let's open that. Come on. No, it's not working. Oh, there's a the monthly budget. Oh, and here's the, it's obviously a, a Chrome problem. You could say Microsoft Office 365 is not optimized for Chrome. It had a long loading time. But here we go. It's loading. My invoice. And the Gantt chart. Okay. Hmm. This is all manual, right? Fifty percent, and if I do, oh, okay. So at least the uh, um, the filling. This is, for example, something that you can't do in Google, or I don't know how to. Oh, sorry. 50. Number of days. Oh, OK. I like that. Uh, Everything is dynamically generated from the dates here. Yeah, that's a good thing. So obviously, um, the the templates, especially the, this GAN thing here, has some work that Microsoft has put in. Um, and we could now compare this to Google. There's also Gantt. Oh, look, they have the same thing. So if I make 90, yeah, OK. So that's very similar. It's taking eight days. That doesn't automatically, this is manual, as I expected. So the Microsoft thing is more dynamic. OK, however, I think that can be, done, uh, can be it for now. So what we understand is if you're using Google Chrome, you obviously have trouble opening Excels. You can even open a, an empty one, or can you open an empty one? Oh, an empty one is, is working. So you only can't open 
the templates. And maybe that's also the reason why, why this still persists. <laughs> maybe people don't have Chrome if they use Office 365. No, it's not working. Only the empty one's working. One, five, this plus this is six. Awesome. So this really feels like Excel native. It's a, a lot of buttons and a lot of stuff. If you compare this, like Google is very reduced up here. This is the whole menu. And so there's a lot of things here that it's more visual, but I think that um, Microsoft is adding a lot of complexity with those ribbon style navigations. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, stay with this for now. Um, what have we learned today in those some minutes? Uh, we have tried Excel online and we found out that Google Chrome will not reliably work with the templates in Excel online. I was able to open a completely blank uh, spreadsheet or Excel uh, table um, for the templates. I couldn't open them. I didn't have an, a complex Excel spreadsheet that I could try to open. I assume that there are just like the last time with Microsoft Teams some performance issues with my Mac and Chrome and uh, Microsoft simply doesn't test a lot um, with Macs and Chromes. Um, because when I switched to Firefox, it would take quite some time, but it would open the templates. And they were actually good templates. Like uh, we were looking at the Gantt chart and that was helpful. So um, if you have a lot of people using Max and Chrome, you may want to do more testing and I will. Um, so stay tuned for other videos on this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.